Okay, let's get started making beads out using recycled materials. One of my favorite things about this project is all the materials are essentially free. Um, this straw came from a fast food restaurant and the magazines I cut up old junk mail. Uh, it's actually a catalog I received in the mail. So the first step is to cut your magazine pages into long triangular strips. So it's easiest if you draw it with a ruler and then cut it out. But once you have these long triangular strips, you're ready to go. All you're gonna need is some Elmer's glue or any white glue and a straw. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna apply a small amount of glue to my straw. I'm gonna pick up the triangle on the wide end, just like this, and I'm gonna stick it onto the straw. Now, it probably needs to be held down for a few seconds because if you don't hold it down, as soon as you kind of pull it at all, it'll slip off. After it's been on there for a few seconds, you slowly wrap it. And you kind of want to keep in mind the edges to make sure you're kind of keeping it in the middle and adjust accordingly if you're not. And then you just keep wrapping and keep wrapping and you keep wrapping until you get to the end of your triangle. And here is the tip or the narrow end of my triangle. And I'm going to cover that whole area in glue. Sometimes your fingers get a little messy, but that's okay. And then you're going to keep wrapping and wrapping and then you're, when you get to the end you're going to hold it down for a second and then the whole bead will stay on top of your straw and I'm going to repeat the process one more time I'm going to do it right here I'm going to use the wide end of the triangle and I'm going to stick it onto the straw you want to leave a little bit of gap because doing it this way I found it's easier if you cut off the bead instead of trying to slide it off some people don't glue it at first and try to slide it off, but I think the beads hold up better with a strong base or foundation here. Okay, I've held it down for a few seconds. I'm just gonna wrap it. I'm, tw I'm just twisting the straw and then I'm holding the paper with my other hand just to make sure that it doesn't get wrinkly or too loose, because you don't want loose beads. When I get to the end of my triangle or the narrow part, I cover it in glue and I hold it down. Now, those two beads are finished. These beads I made earlier today, so they're already dry. You, can, you probably wanna let them dry for about 20 minutes. They dry rather quickly, but if you take them off too early, they can change shape. And what I, to, to take them off, I just trim the edges. And I make sure that none of the straw is showing. On this one, I left a little straw, so I'm gonna cut that off. And then you're left with the beads. And making sure that your triangles are all the same size creates all the same size beads. So if you want them to be different sizes, you could use different size triangles. And I'm gonna trim this one off as well. And what you're left with are a bunch of beads that you can make a necklace or bracelet, a keychain out of. They hold up pretty well. This is an example of some beads that I created last year during demonstrations. And I use smaller triangles so my beads are much smaller. So it's fun to experiment on different size papers, different colored papers, um, and you can create something beautiful from, from basically nothing. That's it. Thanks for watching.